How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client came all the way from Los Angeles, California to get a cover-up done, and I am excited. So first thing is first, we're gonna have breakfast to discuss his ideas and discuss the concepts and what we're gonna do. So let's get this day started. So right now you have, let's see. Some boats. <laughs> <laughs> Some boats. <laughs> Where is it at? Where is it at? Let me see. Let me show the camera. Man. So this is what he has right now. Look at that. <laughs> this is what he has. When did you get this tattoo? Woo! So I'm 24. Mm -hmm. I got it. 17. Nah. Oh. 16. 14, 15. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> I, was expect I was expecting like, oh, no, not 17. I was like 19. I was able to get nah, tattoos. Yeah, I got my first tattoo at 14, but that wasn't my first tattoo. What? My, fir what? my first tattoo was, I was going to send you that one, but. My first tattoo is on my arm. I don't want to send it to you because I'm like, you know what? What if you don't want to do it? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh. And this you, one if, is definitely. If, if you scarred. feel it, yeah. You can. That this thing, is, that this thing, is 3D, bro. Yeah. This yeah. is 3D. Yeah, it's coming. That thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is on mine. <laughs> nah, yeah. This one was. I want to send you this, but I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm going to just like see what he says about this. If I get a reply or not. I mean, you can feel every single No, line. yeah. Every yeah, single it's like, line. it's bad. It's bad. At twenty dollars, uh, some guy I don't even know at his living room. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> my friend's like, "Oh, we're gonna go to my one of my friend's house. Uh, he has a tattoo machine and he's learning how to ta do tattoos. He's mm -hmm. gonna do my back for twenty dollars." So then I went with him, and then he's like, "Oh, you want a tattoo?" I'm like, "I'm only 14, dude." He's like, he's "Like, do you have twenty dollars?" <laughs> I'm like, no. I'm like, I can get twenty dollars. No. Yeah, I can get twenty dollars. Like, okay. Uh, what do you want to get? I, I did. I just looked at him in the eye. I'm like, oh, what should I get? Because <laughs> I'm a kid, you know. I'm yeah, yeah, you don't know nothing. I don't, I don't, you know know nothing. Nothing. I don't know nothing. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me search up some quotes, you know, on the computer. <laughs> and then some Google search. Create your reality. And then I'm like, oh, you know oh. what? Let, let's do it. Wow. And it didn't hurt at all, you know. So I'm yeah. like, yes, sir. Yeah, it looks good though. Dang. That's for everybody. I should got something like that, man. I'm getting oh, some yeah. basic toast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're on a diet, you're on a diet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the fact that all these little wrinkles there, the eyes look, you know, the face looks fierce, you know what I mean? It looks angry. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Um, obviously, I do want to show you more options just right. in case. That was a super dope yeah, one, too. That looks, that looks nice. That looks nice, too. And then we have. Let me see the tattoos again. I want to see how big they are. Okay, so it's not. This one is not bad. So that's good. This one is the one that I have to focus on. Okay. Because I mean, I have countless ideas here. Yeah. Um, that one. That one wouldn't work. Which one? The. This one? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. That one looks. That one looks okay, okay. Okay. Actually, that might work, dog. <laughs> that might work. Oh, it goes right through the dark area too. Did we find it? We found <laughs> this boy. <laughs> now, as far as so everything black and gray, would you consider some color into it? I'm down for color. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Rose, let's go. Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Whole, yeah, that's what I asked him. Like, oh, is it gonna be black and gray? Cause I, I'll, I'm open to color, dude. Shit. <laughs> Oh, let me let me show the camera real quick. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm gonna do something crazy with this. Those purples on that face, low key fire. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's purple. Yeah, that's oh, kind of like a purplish gray. Okay, okay. Oh my god, nah, yeah, you're gonna get down. <laughs> Done. Done. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs>
I placed it where I knew it was gonna help me out a lot to cover it up a lot easier. So the darkest area of this uh, piece is the bottom area. Bottom of the chin has a whole bunch of contrast, so I'm able to do a whole bunch of black here with some purples. Obviously the eye, I wanted it to land in the middle of that skull because that eye is gonna be yellow with some whites and highlights. So I definitely need that to land. I definitely needed that to land in the middle of that skull. This is very light, so it's not gonna give me any problems, but we'll see. Who knows, I might mess up. <laughs> Just <play. laughs> Let's get this, bro. All right, so this is what we got going on right here. So what I started doing is, uh, what I did first is I did the background because I really need to see my values in this tattoo. I'm gonna have a little bit of color and some highlights, bright highlights, so I need to know how dark I can make certain areas in order for me to make it pop a lot more. So we're gonna start with just going in with my 14 round liner here running my machine at 5.0. This uh, part of the tattoo, as you can see, is a little bit scarred. It's glossy, which means that it has a scar. It's, you can feel the lines a little bit, uh, but it's not extremely bad, you know? So, let's go in. All right, so I already did the neck. Uh, there was not much to explain. It's pretty, it's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm gonna start adding texture. Now, we have to keep in mind that I'm gonna be adding purple here and here on some areas. Give it that, that hint of purple on the face. So exactly what I've been doing throughout this whole entire thing, I'm gonna apply it to the top as well. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna finish it off with, uh, finish off this area here by adding a lot of texture with black. And then I'm gonna start recording and explain how I'm gonna start uh, applying my purple in between those gaps. All right, so let's get right into it. If you're tattooing with um, with a voltage that's a lot higher, there is a possibility. Let's just say you're, you're packing in at 10, 
there is a possibility that you might scar the skin so you got to be careful with that now if one of you uh, tattoos with a higher voltage and you haven't experienced that let us know what you do differently if you uh, have your needle more inside the tube or you tattoo slower or faster or a couple passes let us know exactly how you're doing it maybe we can learn something new today On the next clip that you guys are gonna watch is the part where I'm applying my teal color and as I'm doing it, I realize that I don't like it. Like I just don't like the way it's looking. It looks transparent. It just doesn't look as vibrant as I envisioned. So yeah, so that's what happened today. And uh, yeah, enjoy. So now we already completed most of the statue. So now we're gonna be applying my color teal, which is by solid ink I don't know. Um, it's a really light color so uh, on the gaps that I have now in between the statue I'm gonna be applying that the only problem right now is that even though my client is not showing any symptoms or any signs that he's in uh, excruciating pain <laughs> the way that I'm gonna approach this is I'm gonna um, open up the skin so the way I'm gonna do that I'm gonna grab my 14 mile liner and go at it just start whipping the needle across this area that way the skin is gonna open the pores are gonna open I'm gonna apply the back teen and the pores since they're already open they're gonna the back teen is gonna go right through those pores and uh, numb the skin so I'm just gonna like whip it like so here we go real nice and quick I'm doing it with this color because obviously I'm gonna be using it, so might as well start like setting the tone. There you go, quick. How does it feel? You know what? I don't need that. Nah. Yeah. Nah, nah. You know what? You know what? Nah, we definitely need it. Here you go. Real quick, <laughs> opening up the pores. You don't have to be packing it. All you gotta do is just run your needle through the skin and that's gonna be enough for the pores to open. There you go, that's it. That's it. So as you can see, you see uh, the little pores already open, look at that. He got goosebumps. <laughs> he got chicken skin. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the back team. So I'm just gonna spray it. That's it. And let it sit for the next 10 to 15 minutes. And that's going to be solid. He's not going to feel nothing. All right, here we go. So as you can see now, it's been about 15 minutes. You can see uh, the goosebumps. I can see the goosebumps. <laughs> so that means that it's ready to go. So the way I'm going to apply the, this color, since it's really light, you got to make sure that you pack it. So right now, he can kind of feel it. Um, 
it is not as bad as it was before. It definitely helped. Uh, if I would have let it sit a little bit longer, it would have been a lot better. But since he's uh, tough, <laughs> he don't feel it. So here it is. Look. Mm, I don't like this color. No? No, I don't like it. I'm gonna do a stronger, a stronger, uh, stro a stronger turquoise. Now you know what? This is a, this is good content. You know what? <laughs> this is. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. I didn't like this color. It's too light. It's not gonna stand out as much. So I'm gonna use a turquoise. I mean, like this is, this is what I want people to see. That I'm not always like perfect on everything. Yeah, no, it's too light. I feel like the way it's gonna heal, it's not gonna be good. Keep it real. Adding this color here, solid ink, and it is, uh, it's called agave, but it obviously looks turquoise. Um, I just thought that the tilt was gonna be a lot better, but uh, apparently not. It looks transparent, so yeah, I'm not digging that. There we go, there we go. Better? There we go. This is the one, look at that. Oh man, all right, here we go. Small little changes can go a long way. Yes, sir. Right away, right away. See, now as you can see, the colors going in super smooth. Um, I just didn't feel the till, you know? I just didn't like the way it was packing. And uh, before I continue with it, I just follow my guy and I said, you know what? I'm just gonna switch it up. <laughs> I've been so busy in tattooing that I haven't had a chance to record a lot of my projects and editing is definitely hard work because it takes me a lot of hours on top of that I have to design and I have to tattoo. I also have a life <laughs> so uh, I definitely haven't had a chance to record a lot of my projects but in this video I'm just gonna post uh, some of my tattoos that I've been doing lately um, that way you guys get to see different concepts I guess. I do try to answer some of the comments. I definitely is exhausting because it is a lot of comments. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna try my best to engage with you guys a little bit more, but I might just make a video where I answer a whole bunch of questions and, uh, and see if you guys like it. So if you guys wanna see one of those videos, drop a comment. 
Other than that, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.